everything okay? Um, yes, fine, thank you. Kenneth? Of course. I know you're hiding something from me. No, we're not. Well, just let me say this. When Elspeth Yule's grandson was in the depths of his heroin addiction... Elspeth Yule? One o'clock club. She and her Norman kidnapped him and locked him in the box room till he went cold turkey. Is Elspeth not in a wheelchair? Not anymore. Lourdes. Are you suggesting we kidnap Tracy? So you are worried about her. So did it work, this kidnapping? No. He jumped out the window and broke both his legs. Still, the wheelchair came in handy. Any biscuits? Well, I counsel we do nothing. Not yet. You would have been a fat lot of good in the May Blitz. Oh, there's doodle bugs coming. Should we go in the shelter? No, says Kenneth. That'd be too much like hard work. Mum, please, please, look after her for a couple of hours. I really need to rest. You need to see a doctor. He might... You might have hurt your head, got concussion, anything. No. No, the only thing dented is my pride, honestly. Please. OK. Come on, Treasure. I'll be back for it later. Shouldn't you be helping your mum with a move? It's all right, I got... I got an email from Peter this morning. Oh, makes a change from spam, I suppose. Going to stay for a few days. Great, isn't it? Rene from the One O'Clock Club says you only get spam if you've been looking at undiscerning websites. Well, I think it's nice anyway. Tracy's going to get a bit of fun, isn't she? <sighs> She's not coming. That was her on the phone. She's having a lie down. Her head's hurting. Oh. I'm sorry, Ken. You've gone to all this trouble. Oh, well. All the more for us. It's bleeding. It's rare. The end bit's for you. Tough as old boots. Does nobody care about Tracy? Well, of course we care about Tracy. Well, then why aren't you over there tearing him off a strip? Oh, yeah? What good is that going to do? It might make me feel better. It might make me feel like you're a, a man. And if he is hitting her, if he is knocking her about, that's going to help Tracy, is it? And what if he kills her? I mean, it happens, you know. What if he goes too far one night and, and then and there's a knock on the door? How are we going to live with that? And people say, oh, what were you doing while Tracy was suffering? And we say, oh, we were sitting back eating joints of beef. Maybe Peter can sort Charlie out. And I'll tell you something else. I think I'm getting a cold sore. <sighs> so... Uh, we were discussing your sleeping arrangements last night. Oh, it's OK. I'll just stick an airbed down in Adam's room. It's fine. Well, Deirdre, well, we both thought that uh, you might like to spend a bit of time with Tracy. You know, maybe stop over there. If you don't mind flying crockery. Yeah, giving Charlie a rough ride, is she? Eh? Hi. I brought some butties. Oh, right. I'll get the plates. Have you asked Tracy if it's OK if I stay with her? Oh, your dad's mentioned it, has he, about you stopping with Tracy? Yeah. Ken's pussy fucking. Well, we just thought you might have a bit more room over there. Oh, really? My dad just said you thought I might want to spend some time with her. Well, that as well. Are you trying to get rid of me? No! no they no. want you to be a minder. No, we don't. They think he's knocking her about. No, we don't. He's knocking her about? Since when? We don't entirely trust him, that's all. We just wondered if you could keep an eye on her. Hang on, this is Tracy we're talking about, right? This is our... Tracy. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Well, she's down at mine not long back. She's telling me what a top bloke he is and how into him she is. That is the problem. Should have seen the state of Shelley once he'd done with her. Yeah, I know Tracy told me. But Tracy's not Shelley, is she? We just need to know that she's all right. We're asking you to help. It's the capital of Poland. Come on, Norris. Capital, Poland. I'm, I'm after Ken. You don't know, do you? It's Warsaw. And yet I'm not good enough for your quiz team. Well, you can join us. I don't know why you're in either. If I'm too old, you must be well past it and all. I hope you lose. Mm, thank you, Blanche. Sorry. You've never told Blanche she's too old, Norris. She got the wrong end of the stick, I'm afraid. 
I know this one. So that's it's very the to the Tracy. Story. I think he's hit it. I can hear oh. a shouting outside. Sorry. Yeah. Peter, I am so sorry. Has anybody wrong an ambulance? Tracy, go Not home! Go in there. This is my father. Go home now! Tracy! What can all that be about? Peter Barlow. Trouble follows him around like a pet dog. What's going on? Who's minded, Holly? Quick! Right, someone might need first aid. Well, it could be blood. We really should carry oh, protection. Please, 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 please. No, you oh, won't. Ken, you can't let her go in there. Maybe we should apply a little pressure to that bed. Yeah, yeah. And do you not have any sterile dress? No. Crazy! Crazy! Mother, we are getting a cold. Listen, everybody, Vernon is going to get the quiz started again. Come on now, everybody inside. The door Crazy! I'm all right. I'm all right. Anyway. Oh, thanks, Blanche. That'll do me street cred no end of good. Mother, um, are, are you all right to look after Amy if we go with him in the ambulance? I'm not going to hospital. Well, I strongly advise you do. Look, don't worry. If Tracy tries to take Amy near that house, she'll have another fight on her hands. Come on, let's get you into the warmth. I wish it had been a flaming fight. I would have killed him. He's a coward. He's a pathetic coward. You're lucky you weren't stabbed in the shower, like in that psychic. Psycho! What did I say? Oh, why did he attack you? Oh, damn, I knew there was something on the test. How did Tracy go back in there with him? Oh, we'll believe you to it. Thanks, Ailey. Look, I'm fine. I'm not going to hospital, all right? Look, we're not arguing about this. You're going to be checked over. A trial has over a funeral. The element of doubt. Will he be innocent or will he be guilty? He's guilty. The bloke's a nutter. They could find him innocent. You don't get that at a funeral. You don't get the corpse suddenly jumping back to life. And there's never any doubt about the final outcome. Well, there's no doubt about this. He'll never get away with this. Never. Hello, Nina. You're there. And what will that achieve? Well, he wouldn't get away with it then, would he? I'd wipe the floor with him. And I'd happily do community service for it and all. It would be a community service. Well, you can't do that. It'll only make matters worse. I'm going to go over that. Deirdre. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm going to talk to her. Well, no, it's all a bit heated at the moment. But that's why I want to talk to her. Well, let's just give them some space. Let them cool down a bit. Because I'm free. <laughs> I know there's going to be other women, Charlie. But that doesn't bother me. Because I know that I am the woman you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Because I'm the best. Right, now. Hands on the arms. That's what they do, isn't it? So I've been told. Oh. <laughs> I'll just turn the music up. I couldn't hear what they were arguing about, but well, then he put the music back on. What? What's wrong? It's Tracy. I've just got a really bad feeling. I think something's going on. Yeah, here. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Before you go rushing in. Oh. Come on, let's have a look. Come on. Well, I've never seen him so angry. So I said I was going to leave. That I'd had enough. That I wasn't putting up with it anymore. 
but he wouldn't let me. He said he loved me too much for that. So then we started arguing. So I took Amy upstairs to get her out of the way and I came back down. And then the arguing got worse. He went into the kitchen and he got a knife. And he said that he'd rather kill us than see us leave. And then he came at me with the knife. And so I grabbed the nearest thing to hand and I, and I hit him with it really hard. Lovey, you had no choice. You just tell the police what you've told us and you'll be fine. We all know what kind of man he was. He was up in court for assault this morning. You have got nothing to worry about. You acted in self-defence. Well, I had to hit him twice. That won't make a difference, will it? No, of course not. A man's coming at you with a knife. You've got to stop him. Make well, sure. I hope the police see it like that. Have I missed some head? I have, haven't I? I fell asleep in the bath. What's happened? I'll go and have a word. Him, you know. I know, love. If that doesn't prove love is blind, nothing will. Yeah, well, I have been blind. But I can see it all now. And you were right about him. I was just too ashamed to admit it. Paramedics are here now, so it won't be long before they take him away in a body bag. And then he'll be out your life for good. Don't talk like that. Hey. I'd rather it was him dead than Tracy or Amy. And it could have been me the other day. It only takes one lucky shot, you know? Through there. Thanks. Hi. Tracy Barlow. I'm D.S. Campbell. This is D.S. Surrey. I'm uh, Deirdre, her mum, and this is Blanche, her nan. Uh, can I get you a tea or coffee or something? I know, Tom. We're going down to the station now. Was it you who rang 999, Tracy? And said that you killed Mr. Stubbs? Yeah. OK, Tracy, I'm arresting you on suspicion of a Section 18 wounding. She was defending herself. You should be patting her on the back, not flaming arresting her. Look, I'm sorry. It's just procedure. It needs to be done. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yeah. OK, Tracy. Do you want to come with us now, please? Mum, look after Amy for me. You'll be back tonight. You reckon that he tried to attack her with a knife? Why would he do that? Why would he need to pull a blade on her? OK. Yep. Jess, look, he's got an oxygen mask on. So? So he must be alive. He's still alive. Oh, thank God. At least they can't do it for murder. They can't do it for anything. You might get his paper money off him after all. Do you think she'll go with him? Would it do any good? I don't know. You might get a raise if he ever wakes up. Shut up, David. I'm the best mate he's got. I can't think of any other family I know of. Some there. Do you want to go? I just think someone should go with him. Well, go and ask. Tracy, he's still alive. He still had a very slight pulse when the paramedics arrived. It's touch and go, but you never know. Fingers crossed, he might just make it. Whom can we see her? That's right. Put your dolly to bed. Yes. <laughs> Could do with a polish. We've got more important things to think about than whether your shoes are shiny. Done nothing but faff since you got up. Right. Thanks. Bye. How is she? They're interviewing her. We should have gone over there yesterday, like I said. Yeah, well, it's easy to be wise after the event. I should have followed my instincts. Oh, no. You knew better. As usual. Don't you think this little one has seen enough bickering to last her a lifetime? The police want you to take some clothes in for her. Well, what am I supposed to do? All the things are at number six. She won't want to wear anything of mine. Stop fussing. She'll just be glad to be home. Why don't you just go in later? Just leave it for a bit. Yeah, he does have a point. We could be waiting around for hours. 
We left her to cope on her own once before. And look what happened. I know that. Oh, about time. I thought they'd locked her up and thrown away the key. Mother. I was worried, that's all. Oh, Amy, I have missed you so much. Right, well, I'll stick the kettle on. I'm sure we could all do with a cuppa. Yep, I'll stick some butties together and all, eh? you. Hey. Oh, that's me all over, isn't it? Let's all sit down and have a nice cup of tea. Discuss everything like civilised human beings. Come on, yeah, only Charlie Stubbs isn't civilised, is he? He's an animal. I left him alone with two of the people who are most precious to me in my life. It's not your fault. Oh, yeah, well, whose fault is it, then? I might just as well have said, go on, do your worst. You virtually gave him carte blanche. You're calling me? I'll have cheese and onion if you're asking. Tracy, just want you to know that you have our support. I know that, and um, I am so grateful. Yeah, well, whatever we have to do, however long it takes, we're with you every step of the way. Yeah. Whatever it is, love, just say the word. Right. Well, um, actually, there is some. Well, what is it? Well, um, I'd like to uh, see Charlie. Thinking. I love him! Oh, Tracy! You have just walked away from the police station and you're saying crazy things like that. What can it be to check on one patient? Listen, love, I think we've already established that you're completely useless, so can you put somebody on the phone that does know what they're doing? Well, can somebody please tell me what's going on? Oh, this is a waste of time, a complete waste of time. Tracy. Is he dead yet? Mother! No change, critical but stable. Stable? Well, well that's good, isn't it? Come on, love, sit down. Look, Charlie's a tough bloke. And surely the longer he hangs on, the more chance there is he'll pull through. Come on, eat your toast. Ugh, I'm not hungry. Come on, you've got to eat, Trace. Eat it. How can I eat with this hanging over me? Hey, you haven't done anything wrong. Well, I just wish I could fast forward and this would be over. We all do, love. <sighs> Look, I know it's hard, but all we can do is wait. Well, I'm going to go and have a bath. Yeah, you, you can have something to eat when you come down. Yeah, I could go to the hospital if you like, take a flask and give you a ring as soon as he pops his clogs. Please. What? That was the hospital. Charlie died. <laughs> Tracy, come inside. I think we could all do with a drink. I need to be alone. It's raining. Please, Mum. I just need a minute. I feel like I'm suffocating. Maybe we should just... Give her a moment, eh? Tracy! Look, why don't we go and fix some drinks? I'm sure Tracy won't be long. Please. My boyfriend just died. I need a minute. Go on. She's got a jigsaws in there. Come on, sweetheart. Come you on. want to help me do the car one? Hey, get on. I love Charlie. I really loved him. I know, I know you did love So you're telling me that you knew nothing about this? Charlie knocking her about, I mean. No. But you're Amy's dad, Steve. But I had no idea. Nobody did. <laughs> Where's Amy? Playing jigsaws with Adam. You know, he used to make a breakfast. I used to chop bananas up for her and everything. Oh, she is really going to miss him. <laughs> no one will miss Charlie Stubbs. He were a thug. They should have given you a medal. Gran, I loved him. What? <laughs> loved a man who beat you? No. Look at me. You did the right thing. 
You should have done this the first time he raised his hand to you, and no one would blame you for it. You did the right thing. Thank you. <laughs> I know this isn't a very good time, but, um, I was thinking about Amy. What about her? Well, I was wondering whether it'd be best if she stays with me for a while. She's fine here, Steve. Well, yeah, but, I mean, is this really a place for a child, you know? With her family? It's exactly the place for a child. Steve's right. It's Tracy! No. It'll do Amy good to spend some time with her dad. Just a few days the way. Thanks. Well, she deserves the, the break. They're back. Can we have a word, please? We're no Charlie died. Right. Well, I know this is a difficult time, but we'd like to take Tracy down to the station just to ask her a few more questions. Well, now? Well, I thought you'd already done that. We've had the forensic report back. We have to do our job. Oh, your job should have been stopping that scumbag attacking people. Then none of this would have happened. A man has died. Tracy admits she hit him. We have to investigate. Now, if Charlie had been your family, would you want us to take it seriously? No, it's all right. I'll come. Can I say goodnight to my daughter? It's just that it's her bedtime. Yeah, of course. Amy. Mummy's going out for a bit. But we'll be back very soon, OK? So you're going to stay with Daddy. You're going to be a good girl. Be a good girl for your mummy. Oh, mummy. This isn't right. What's going on? This route is there. Don't look. Don't look. We'll come to the station and we'll wait for you. Peter, bring your car around. Are we all going? I'd rather stay here. I'll stay with her. Yeah, all right. I'll tell you what, we'll call you as soon as we know anything from the station. <laughs> we were looking for... You going back to 40 a day isn't helping anybody. It's helping me. I bet Trace could do with a fag, eh? And a decent breakfast. I'm sure she's coping just fine. Yeah, well, she hasn't got a lot of choice, has she? Thanks to us. Me, you mean? <sighs> I should have gone over there. Should have trusted me instincts. When I stopped you? I'll finish this in the yard. Do you know, this place would be all right. Be touched. How's she doing? Well, I did respect to her yesterday, and she sounds on good form. She's a fighter. I know she is. You look dog-tired. They might just as well have locked me up with her. Imagination's doing overtime. Have another cigarette. A special dispensation. We just feel so useless. Me too. I was saying to Ashley, maybe I should have made a copy of that notebook instead of just handing it over. Oh, I'm sure the police will look after it. You don't know, do you? Somebody might decide to lose it. Accidentally on purpose. I think Tracy will win through, with or without your jotter. Mother. Don't underestimate people power. Here we go. The ears and eyes of the community can carry great clout. Which is why I was thinking of doing a petition. We, the undersigned, believe that Tracy Barlow was a victim of a violent partner and acted in self-defence, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, every little helps. <sighs> You've been a great friend to her, Claire. Not really. I stood back and did nothing. Join the club. Poor little Amy. She won't know whether she's close. Once you sorted out the backlog, then we can sort out some proper childcare. And before you know where you are, you with the proper childcare. If you don't make your mind up soon, you're paying. Do you know what? To be honest, Blanche, I'm not that hungry. No, I mean you. It's not about hungry. This is a public relations exercise. The original spin doctor here. Yeah? If we hide away at home, folk will think we've got something to be ashamed of. We're as brave smiles, three plates of eggs and chips, and everybody will think our traces are suffered, yeah. Just order funny cuts. Mm. No way! It'd be lawful. I mean, I knew Charlie would have sleazeball, but I never realised it were knocking her about. Well, you're behind her now, that's all that matters, isn't it? 
Christmas, though. I called her everything to ask Steve. I just thought she would dump in here because she couldn't be bothered. She never were gonna win Mother of the Year. Charlie or no Charlie. What are people saying? Let her walk or throw away the key? Oh, people are generally very sympathetic, considering... Tri considering... You two have these drinks on the house. I'd best crack on. Considering Tracy's such a cow, she means. Afraid so, yeah. But she's our cow, Peter. We've got to support her. She's been brave for our benefit. She had a little wobbler just as we left. Understandably. Is she wrapped up warm? How many times have I told her? Your jeans are at half mast and your top's riding up your midriff. She's fine, Mother. Well, she's only got the one kidney. She doesn't want to be getting cold in it. Blanche, it's all state-of-the-art now. She's probably got broadband in her cell and a high-definition TV. He's speaking in tongues again. <laughs> well, the shorthand is Tracy is down, but by no means out. She's giving a solicitor his marching orders tomorrow. She's found this new whiz kid who specialises in cases like hers. That sounds pricey, though. Uh, the new woman's legal aid as well. Oh, well, great stuff. Twelve good men and true. I put my faith in British justice. Well, it came through for Deirdre in the end. Uh, she'll be back soon, treating us all like dirt, using this place like a hotel. I can't wait. <laughs> what were you doing? Sorry, but I'm with my dad on this one. Well, I'm not. She's out of order. So basically, what it boils down to is you're not prepared to stick your neck out and risk a few miserable quid to protect your own daughter. A few quid? A month's lawyer's fees? Unnecessary lawyer's fees? You're talking thousands here? A few quid? For a wet liberal, Ken, you can't half turn conservative when it suits. Can we just refrain from insulting one another, Blanche, eh? Look, surely we can find the money between us. That's not the point. That's exactly the point. You can't be sure. I'm in business. I'm up to me eyeballs. And we all know he's got it. All right. And what, I'm just going to blow it otherwise? Thanks, Blanche. No, no, that's your money for your future. We're not touching it. I couldn't, for the shame of it, sit on a fortune knowing that my family need it. In fact, now never mind all that. End of mithering. We'll use my money. Just listen, will you? No. She's my daughter, my responsibility. Oh, and turning down money when it's offered to you. That's responsible, is it? More stupid, if you ask me. All right, so we cover this first month, no problem. What then? What if this judge knocks back the application for the new lawyer to be on legal aid because Tracy doesn't like the face of the old one? How much is that going to cost, then? Your savings wouldn't even touch it, Blanche. So let's just get real, shall we? Well, you've obviously made your mind up. Thank you, Mother. It's nice to know someone still cares about this family, and if he won't accept it, I will. We'll be in the pub when you decide to see sense. You do realise this is your decision? Never let it be said that any relative of mine ever got measured against bound notes. Oh, let him suck. I mean, what kind of man sits back and worries about his bank balance when his daughter is stuck in prison? Not one I could live with, I know that. <coughs> hey up. That'll be a quiet Sunday morning, eh? Whatever happened to June? Oh, when it's this bad for us, what's it like for him in that? David! David! Will you turn it off or turn it down? You want to try banging on the roof, eh? Yeah, and a different beat so he'd notice. <laughs> David! And he's not... Hey, is he being so pig-headed about this? My decision. I don't begrudge her a penny. But it shouldn't be down to me, this, you know. I know, Mother. And I will get it back to you somehow, no matter how long it takes. If it means getting her out, and that child having its mother back, then it's not even an issue. Forget it. I'll not be letting Ken forget, mind. If good, you're coming in here apologising for him. He's wrong. Simple as that. What if he's right? Well, we'll deal with that when it happens. How? I mean, that's all he's saying. What if the judge says no way she can swap? What if she don't like the next one? Are we all just going to keep running around like lunatics until she's happy? Well, whose side are you on anyway? Hey, where were you when I was rolling around the street fighting off Charlie Stubbs, pal? Watch it, you're out of order. Don't you two start. Right, I'll get a drink and then let's all go on. 
fraternising with the enemy, I see. Do you know what, Blanche? I can't keep up with this family's enemies. Let's just drink these and we'll go home, eh? If Ken wants to sort this, he can come here. I'm sorry, but he can please himself. How's everybody doing? You must be at your wit's end, all of you. Not the only scandal going on round here, though, eh? Mother. You know jealousy is a very attractive thing for lunch, especially in Europe. Do we need this? Uh, we'd best leave you to it, Ed. Hey, hey, give it our best. Hey. I would think this goes beyond petty bickering, wouldn't you, Blanche? So much for the well wishers, eh? The usual place. So much for getting everybody home. He tried. We preferred the atmosphere in here. Well, deprived of your deeply considered input. Dad, let's not have this again, eh? And despite the fact that what you're proposing is stupid, reckless and way, way against my better judgement. We are not proposing anything. We are backing our daughter. Which is also what I'm doing. We'll find the money. Not your money, Blanche, so God knows we might be in need of it soon. Our money. Don't go martyring yourself for my benefit. Tracy, actually. I've looked into the finances. It's tight, but uh, we should be able to get something back on the house. You're too old for a second mortgage. Well, thank you for that, Blanche, but uh, I think we're in a position to find some form of equity release. So if Tracy gets a new lawyer, that is what she wants. And it's what I want. Uh, before you say it, Blanche, yes, it's a matter of principle. And I've still got them. My daughter, my money. All right. Hi, Blanche. Just take a seat. I'll be with you in a minute. <clears throat> you think I'm having you touching my head? Charlie Stubbs, little concubine. I'll wait. Well, I'll be a while yet, Blanche. I'd rather let young Platt loose on it than her. Charlie was a friend of mine, so don't go persecuting me for going to his funeral. Your granddaughter was there. Why don't you get her to cut your hair? Maria. I would if she could. Yeah, but she can't, can she? What exactly can your Tracy do, apart from murder blokes? Look, that's enough, Maria. He got what we're coming to him. World's better off without scum like that, thinking they own the place. Look, can we change the subject, please? It's just a pity they cremated him, innit? Otherwise, I'd have gone to his grave and danced on it. David. I just hope he rots in hell. David! <sighs> Tea, anybody? You can scream and shout as much as you want outside. But when you're in this salon, I expect a modicum of decorum, OK? I mean, people come in here to relax, David, not listen to all your stupid nonsense. It's all right for you, isn't it, Gran? Charlie Stubbs didn't try to drown you. Oh, what? What did you say? Ask her. He tried to drown me in her bath. Oh, David. Come on. Why are you doing this? Just because he's dead, Maria. Don't make him a saint. It's time people knew the truth. Maria? Well, look, if this is the truth, why didn't either of you say? Because I was terrified, Gran. What do you think? And you? You kept very quiet. Come on. Look, I went straight round and told Tracy. Told her what? About the affair. Yeah, but what about this? I'm sorry. I didn't tell anyone about that. I don't know why. I just... David, you go home now and you tell your mother what you've just told me. Go on. All right, keep your hair on. Oh. Why didn't either of you say anything when the police were arresting Tracy? For goodness sake, this is a murder inquiry, you stupid, stupid pair. Oh. Billy Stubbs held you underwater and you only choose to drop it into the conversation now. So what? Was he trying to scare you or was he trying to kill you? Well, believe it or not, Mum, I didn't stop and ask. Oh, where is he? When did it happen? Well, what's it matter? Your psycho daughter's psycho boyfriend deserved everything he got. Well, we need to tell the police. We need to establish the facts. If this is true, imagine what he's been through. My daughter is looking at 20 years in prison. I don't care what he's been through. Well, right now, my concern is not your daughter. It's my son. You've got it! David, where are you going now? Anywhere. 
Anyhow, that's not it. What isn't it? There's things I've not told you. What haven't you told us? David, what else haven't you told us? I saw it. So what? I saw it happen. What happened? David, are you going to tell us or do we stand here guessing? I saw her kill him. What? I saw Tracy kill Charlie. I saw it all. Arm down. We have been going out of our minds, and there was an eyewitness right on the doorstep. Why didn't you say anything? I hope you understand the seriousness of this. This is the difference between my granddaughter having a mother or not. What's going on? Witness to the murder? Ma'am, please. No, is that what he said? Maria's just told me she came back looking like a ghost. David, if this is a lie... And you see why I didn't open my mouth? Because nobody ever listens. And why do you think that is? You? Her? Teachers, nobody gives a damn. I see Tracy Barlow kill a boyfriend, suddenly the world's all ears. Somebody should slap it out of oh, him. Oh, shut up. I'm going to get the police. Do what you like. Because I don't care about Tracy, and I don't care about your stupid granddaughter. Tell the police. Tell the street. You can tell the whole world for all I care. David! Come back here. Gail! I'll talk to him. If he's telling the truth, I'll take him to the police. Well, I'll drag him there if necessary. Thank you.